well here I am again come up with a new design for my cell that way I can eliminate the fuel pump that I've been running through the cooling core courtesy of Lowe's and Home Depot I was able to get all these parts together I'll just show you my design on paper I did a few drawings here I don't know if you can see that very well but you've got your cell there in the six by six inch box you've got lines coming out of the bottom and the top which go to the uh, water canister and do you see how I've mounted the cell lower than the water canister the cell actual water line will be above the whoops excuse me for the wind here give me just a second now we can get back to that cell water line is actually above this top inlet here and that keeps the water circulating because when the air bubbles are formed inside the cell it's going to push water and and the bubbles all the way into the cell then bringing water from the bottom of the reservoir into the bottom of the cell and continuously circulating then I have an outlet at the very top there going to the engine here's my other paper here before it blows away. This is the actual box and the way I constructed the cell. What I'm using is wall outlet covers. They're made out of 304 stainless steel. Just for starting off. If it gets better and works, I'll upgrade it. Left room for expansion where I can use more plates or play with it and what have you. I'm using quarter inch uh, stainless steel threaded rod running through top and bottom. The top side being the anode, the bottom would be the cathode. And of course there's neutral plates in between each to uh, cut down the voltage across each plate. And let's see, here's the plates. I'm starting out with 11 of them. So you can see there. You can count them all if you want. And here's the box that I got. It's got a foam rubber gasket which I'll probably end up using silicone to seal it. I'll see how watertight that is when I get it put together. And I've also got a piece of 3 8 PEX tubing running across over here. That I will use to insulate the threaded rod from the neutral plates and also from the anode and cathode shorting each other out. And here's what I'm using for spacers. They're 3 8 nylon washers, flat washers, you can see there in the picture. And there's the tubing. Here's my stainless threaded rod. There's that there. Okay, the ceiling washers that's going to go on the outside, I'm actually using faucet repair washers. Those work fairly well. And then here's my fittings going top and bottom. And once I get this thing put together, I'll test it and let you know. I also should be putting a video out that will show you exactly how I'm putting the cell together. That way if anybody wants any more information, they'll definitely get it. But for now, this is what I'm up to. This is my new design. Uh, post your comments and leave me your thoughts. and how you think this might work and any other ideas you think it might make it better. Signing off.